Hello and welcome to our video show you how to make these simple kids circus imitations with a simple few tools and our downloadable products which are available on our website which is invites.com.au you can do these pretty simply and easily yourself. Today the materials we're going to show you will make six invitations but of course you can make as many as you want. So to start with what you'll need to make these are, you will need two pieces of A4 black cardboard, a small pair of sewing scissors, some 3D adhesive foam squares, these ones are 12mm by 12mm, some double sided tape, a lead pencil, a ruler, which doesn't have to be metal like this one, it can be any type of ruler, and a guillotine. But if you don't have a guillotine like this, you can either use a scalpel knife or just a pair of scissors, that's fine as well. So to start with, what we'll need to do is cut our piece of black cardboard into three pieces. The easiest way to do that is to measure along the longer side if you measure 99 millimetres, make a little mark with your pencil, go along again, make another 99 millimetre mark. Now with your guillotine, if you line up the pencil mark on the very edge of the blade here, and on this side, line up the edge with the line, and that way you can get a straight cut. So let's do that again. And now you will have three pieces of DL black cardboard. Now this particular cardboard is actually smoother on one side and a bit textured on the other side. So I've put the pencil on the back so that you cannot see it when the imitation is finished. So the next part is the next layer which has the actual party details on it. This is a downloadable word template which you can just open up and insert your party details on each of the panels uh, with the top, the guest name, you can just put one, two, three, print that one off, one, two, three, and keep going until you've got the amount of invitations that you need. These will actually be cut a bit smaller than the black backgrounds just so that there's sort of a gap and a black border around them. So the best way to cut these ones is we're going to be cutting the sides and the top but leaving this side uncut. So if you cut the top first, just lining up the edge of the image with the edge of the guillotine, cut the sides, as mentioned don't cut the bottoms, just cut the sides and the top and you'll end up with three separate overlays for the invitations and if you make a mistake it's okay you can just print out another one it's not a big deal so last one and now we have three separate pieces for our black backing so what it'll actually look like is you grab the piece of the black sit that over the top like that you can see that it sits over the top nice without overlapping anything and also has a black, nice black border around the edge. So to stick that onto the black backing, get your double sided tape, find the edge here and sort of measure just, you know, approximate, sort of go around that much and then make sure it's the top that you're sticking it on. Put that about 20 mils down. And what you want to do is you want to just sort of gauge where you're going to be sticking it. So sort of, you know, around there. Sort of just imagine a couple of mil on the outside of the whole thing. So then you need to take the backing off the double-sided tape. And if you just sort of start at the bottom, line it up, 
and then sort of let it drop, smooth it down, and then you've got that adhered to the backing. The next step is also you've downloaded a file which has six circus tent images on it. You can just cut around each one. There's actually a black dotted line around them to help you, but just cut on the inside as you don't want that black dotted line to show on the imitation. This can take some time, but just be careful and don't rush it and you'll be okay. What you'll end up with is a cut out like this. And that will sit on top of the imitation like this. So, to stick that on there, you've got your adhesive squares which come in a flat pack like this. One side's already adhered one and one isn't. So you just maybe break off one of them, stick it to the circus cutout, take off the other side of the backing tape and just sort of position it where you want on the invitation. Push it down and that's it, finished. These fit into a DL standard envelope, um, so easy, just print as many as you want and you've got a great invitation. Thank you very much and see you next time.